Stock Travel Boat for like a couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today looking at uh, measuring the effectiveness of a phishing campaign. So when we think about an attack path, right? The path the criminals are taking into our network. And we think about putting defense in depth along that attack path. Each one of those controls oftentimes is only effective 50, 60% of the time. And yet, the cumulative effect is very, very high, right? We've switched from being able to say, we gotta be right every single time, stop the criminal, to saying that the criminal has to be right every single time to miss these controls that even half the time we catch them, stop them. So the, uh, the advice I have to you, the tip to you is this, when measuring the effectiveness of a phishing campaign, you need to think about the entire path the criminal is taking and how even if you're only 50%, 60% effective at the fish level, you can have a great higher level of confidence that you'll stop the attack. Let me tell you what I mean. Think about, if you think about um, phishing, right, or people reading emails as human intrusion defense systems. And of course, I'm not the first person to say this. You know, the IDS is the human layer. <laughs> the human layer IDS. Uh, if you think about that, that is an interesting metaphor. Now, if we think about IDS, we wouldn't say, hey, I'm going to tune my IDS so that it catches everything. We know that IDS has only worked 50, 60% of the time uh, because of the crossover error rate. If you were to have them work 100% of the time, they'd end up with lots of false positives. We know this. We also don't say, hey, I know, I've got an IDS. Uh, I will tune it and I'll just measure the effectiveness of the IDS, but I'll forget the rest of the system. Now, good programs look at that IDS and they say, okay, when that uh, signature hits and people respond, how long does it take for people to jump in action? How long does it take for them to read it? And, uh, and do they know what to do in the first place? All those sort of things. Here's how this applies to phishing. Traditionally, a lot of people look at phishing as how many people collect, all right? Good insight. How many people collect versus how many didn't? If they collect, that's an entire another path and we're not going to go down. That's the 40% of the time it failed, right? If they didn't, now what? How do, how do we know if that phishing test was effective? If we think of them as an intrusion system, the now what is, hopefully something like this. They call the help desk. This looks phishing. Or whatever security service desk is got set up. Uh, the metric is one, how many people reported it, which is hugely valuable, as you'll see in a minute. Two, how effective was the help desk at determining it was a real uh, phishing message? And at that time that it is real or is not, that's also the time where you want to do just a little teeny tiny bit of education. Maybe one minute, no more. All right, so now we say, okay, it is Israel. What happens next? Well, hopefully, IT and IT security gets involved and the uh, address to that link gets sync hold, the web URL gets sync hold, all right? Maybe the DNS name gets sync hold, uh, especially if it's like one character off your name. And the email gets purged from the system. All those things take time. If you think about an entire instant response to a phishing email, well, that is what you want. A really good, effective phishing program measures A, how many people collect, B, how many people triaged and correctly identified it, and C, most importantly, how many emails were cleaned up, and then you tack on time to all that. People respond, you know, the first person responds in 15 minutes, it takes the help desk five minutes to triage, it takes the IT team one hour to clean up. Those would be really impressive metrics. And at that point, even if it only two people successfully identifies a phishing test, you've now completely removed it from everyone else's mailbox, and add a layer of protection that was not there before. Then you truly have a human intrusion detection system and then you truly have an instant response around it. My two cents, what do you think? What makes for a good, effective phishing program? Hit me up in the comments on social media. Cheers.